I have here a fidget spinner, which you see everywhere nowadays. I've driven a screw through it, and attached to the screw is a string that I've tied so that it can hang freely. I'm going to spin the fidget spinner, giving it some angular momentum to demonstrate gyroscopic precession. The convention that we have for relating motion in a plane, circular motion in a plane, to a vector of angular momentum is that if I have an object spinning in the direction defined by the sweeping of my right hand, like so, is that if I imagined arrows on my fingertips, then the angular momentum vector will point in the direction of my thumb. So if I spin the object like this, the angular momentum vector will be along my thumb. We also have, when we let it hang freely, a gravitational force which wants to push it downward. If I take the point from where it's free to hang, and I define a vector pointing from there to the center of mass of the object, which is mostly at the center over here, because this is where most of the mass is, and distributed symmetrically about that, the mass of the screw being mostly negligible, then I have a vector pointing along the direction of the pen, with the pen point being the head of the vector. The gravitational force will all act at the center of mass. So I have a vector from the point where it's free to hang to the center of mass where the gravitational force acts. The gravitational force is, of course, a vector downward. I have another convention which says if I sweep the vector from the point of rotation to the center of mass to the force vector using my right hand, then my thumb points in the direction of the torque. And the definition of torque is the change of angular momentum. So sweeping in that direction, my thumb was pointing into the screen, which says that if I take this fidget spinner, let it spin, then let it hang, allow gravity to exert a force leading to a torque, there's going to be a change of angular momentum direct along my thumb, which means this is going to sweep towards the screen. The rotating object is going to have the axis of rotation itself rotate. That's called precession. So I'm going to get it spinning over here in this direction so the angular momentum vector is pointed outward. I want to get it spinning really fast and then I'm going to let it hang freely. 